This is my Sunday bowl. It's holy. Da dum bum. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm so happy to see your faces today. And so what I've got here is a piece of box elder burl. It is about six inches wide and let's see, it's written on the side, about an inch and seven eighths, so almost two inches uh, deep. I do have a hole. There was an inclusion that I cleaned out. So I want to fill that with some resin. I'm thinking about doing some kind of swirl action. Um, with some white and then I've got this Illumilite um, fluorescent pink you know to kind of highlight some of the pink colors in here I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, so what I'm thinking about make this the top so I've got some of the edges here with that and what I'm going to do is wrap it in tape and um, make a dam up here I've got a, a waste block up here to kind of take up some of the resin and uh, you're going to fill it up and make it probably about, uh, I don't know, another half inch, three quarter of an inch high. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to tape it up. I'm not going to bore you with the taping up, but I'll be back in a minute, mix up some resin. All right, so we got it taped up <laughs> as every time. I hope I have enough tape on it and um, we don't get a leak and I wind up with a shallower uh, pressure pot than I started off with. So. Anyway, we're going to get, uh, put that in there, bring our stuff over and we're going to get ready to mix up some resin. All right, I think we've got it uh, stirred up enough. So let's, uh, I'm gonna pour just a little bit in the smaller container cause that's gonna be the white. I just kind of want white uh, streaks, but I want it to mainly be the fluorescent pink. get this it's already starting to get, get warm so it's starting to react okay so let's fill up the hole first okay and then I'm just gonna pour this here get that there kind of centered it up okay and then what I want to do is try this and this might be a little bit too much of the white but I'm just gonna pour it in like this and I want to get it on the edges because that's really where we're gonna see it try an experiment in this cup okay so then what I've got is a pops a, a, a barbecue skirt skewer and I'm gonna push it out to the edge and see if I can get the effect that I want. All right, we'll leave this overnight and uh, get back to it in the morning or tomorrow afternoon, I should say. All right, so the next day, so uh, let's empty this air out and see what we got. So far it looks good, but uh, let's cut into it and see what we've got. I'll be back when I got this done. 
So uh, it turned out really nicely. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So uh, let's get a, uh, a worm screw in here and let's get it chucked up on the lathe. So I've tried a couple of things and I'm still getting a little bit of tear out. So I'm gonna see if I can sand it out, but I got a little bit of a hole right here. So I'm gonna to try to fill it in with um, CA and uh, plenty of sawdust that I've got laying around. So let's, uh, let's see if we can fill it. So I finished the outside, you know, did my sanding all the way up to 600, um, sanding sealer, axe, uh, abrasive paste, and then the polishing paste. And I gotta say, it's beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this, uh, this block, this uh, waste block here, hollow it out and uh, apply the next finish and we'll be done with it.
Well, that was fun. I know I probably say that every time, but it really was a lot of fun. I mean, I'm having the time of my life doing this. Uh, and I, I hope you're out turning too. And I hope you can take some of the things that I do and, and use them. And maybe some of the things that I do, don't do them. Uh, but anyway, I love the way that the resin came out. It plays so well. You'll probably see it when I put some stills at the end. It plays so well with the, um, the grain of this wood and it's a it's burl and it's just absolutely stunning and i don't know if you can see there but there's a little bit of a pink hue going through there but i like it and it's uh not perfect but i think it's a really really nice bowl i hope you do too so if this is your first time i encourage you to click up here and become a subscriber click that bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. If you'd like this video and you want to see more like it, click right here and you can see more. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day and thank you.